Hey guys, welcome back to Freshman Weekers YouTube channel. Today we are on board the Norwegian Bliss and today we are doing a full ship tour. So if you want to see what there is on this entire ship, then you're in the right place. Make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button and let's go. Let's go. Guys, like Lewis said, we're here. We are gonna give you a ship tour. So, with that, it is about 1:30. Uh, we have not had an opportunity to actually visit our room yet, but it'll be our next video where we'll give you a cabin tour of room 14200. So for now, we're gonna go up to deck 20 and work our way down. Right. Ready? Let's go. Let's see what there is. Let's go. All the steps. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So if you want the best view of the skyline in Seattle, book a cruise because you get to see all of it. Right? Like this is. I'm here for it, and I'm here for it. You guys, I'm not kidding, I just saw a sea lion. It had two, it was a sea lion, it was right there. So we'll see if it pops up again. Maybe it was a sea lion, I guess it, because I didn't see a fin, but I did there's see no, I like, don't think there's, I don't think there's like dolphins in here, let's see. So what happened and how do we end up missing the sea lion? Right, someone well, was playing with their phone. And someone else is looking <laughs> in the water. <laughs> with the camera in hand, so we're both yeah. to blame here. All right, on with the, on with the uh, boat tour. I'm gonna get started with the boat tour. Yeah, let's, go. let's go. All right, so as always, we start at the top and work our way to the bottom. So we're gonna show you everything in between. And starting on deck 20 in the front of the ship, we have laser tag. Uh, don't think we'll be doing it, but it's here. If you want, or if the kids want, that's where you go. Deck 20. Let's go down to deck 19 and start the real tour. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're on deck 19. That is Vibe Beach Club. That is a four purchase option, kind of like a secluded per portion of the, uh, yeah, of the ship. So lots of exclusivity on this boat. Yes. Not super inclusive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we also have a hot tub on the top deck as well yep. as a bar. Yep. That's deck 19. Right, let's see how, how warm the hot tub is here in Seattle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put you into that with all your hose on. How about that? It's actually pretty warm. Like I could get in that right now. I think it'd be all right. Really? I'm yeah. sweating. All right. So pack your bathing suit and then yeah. you can hop in the hot tub while everybody else is just like sitting did, around. Did you pack yours? I did, I brought my base. Uh, okay, good. So plenty of loungers on deck 19. Now also part of deck 19 is the Haven. So the Haven is the other more exclusive area of the ship. Um, so you have to pay for that. It's much more expensive. We do not have Haven access. Comment down below if you think Willow should bring back to Alaska and book a Haven spa suite. Because... Don't do that. Don't comment <laughs> below. Comment below. If, okay, if this video gets 10,000 views, Lewis will take me back to Alaska. We need more than 10,000 views. Do you know how little YouTube pays? <laughs> <laughs> All right, just comment down below. And if we get enough of them, maybe I can talk them into it. We'll see. S Y'all subscribe because that's how we get, that's how we uh, make the magic happen. All right guys, so we're still on deck 19, but check out the shop behind us. You can see that, you can, well, not the lights in the way, but you can see everything. That's a pool deck. So we're gonna do that uh, when we get there. So now we're gonna go down to deck 18 mm -hmm. and see what they have there. It looks like the jogging track, so let's go check that out. Let's go. We don't know. This is this is uh, the first time we've, on this channel, have cruised on Norwegian. So it's a little bit different for us. Here on deck 18, in the front of the ship, we have the Haven restaurant. So if you have special access to that, this is where you could go to do that. Now we're going to go to the back of the ship where there's a little bit more left to deck 18 to explore. Let's go. Yeah, but to get to the back of the ship, Back, back to deck 18, you have to go down to 17, walk across and walk back up, right? Because there's no walk We're going to teleport. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And deck 18 at the back of the ship, this is where you're going to find the go-kart racetrack. It is $15 per ride and you must be under 270 pounds and over, I think it's 55 inches to ride. In addition to the Speedway here on deck 18, they also have a mini golf. So we'll definitely be playing some of that later. You got to cheat this time? Uh, you always cheat. Are you going to lose this time? <laughs> All right, and so now we're down on deck 17. So this is where the American Diner is, as well as the running track, which runs right through the diner. <laughs> so you can be running along, grab yourself a cheeseburger, keep on going. Yeah, because that's Just, exactly what you want to do, is run and eat at the same time. I'm an Olympic athlete. Is, that's oh, how, that's okay. how we train. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Nice try. And here at the back of deck 17, we have Spice H2O, which is the adults only hot tub hangout area. Uh, so adults only. Yeah, got a couple hot tubs. Uh, have a shower, and I actually think in cooler weather, there's actually a waterfall shower back there. Pretty cool. And a bar. And a bar. Yeah. And it also looks like they have a stage here as well, so maybe they'll do some live music back here at some point during the cruise. Yeah. And uh, moving towards the center of the ship, we have the Bistro. This is the French for purchase restaurant. It's locked. 
Oh, all right, well. Just take a quick look inside. You go do that, I'll be down here. You want me to get the rest of the dress back? Yes, exactly, not me. It's your recording, baby. Definitely looks like some fancy fine dining in here. Oh, look at all the champagne. They even got a baby bottle, meaning a bottle the size of a baby. Continuing midship on deck 17, this is where you're gonna find the two water slides on board. I don't think they're gonna get much use on the Alaska cruise, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and if I can find any footage of Lewis actually getting in his bathing suit and going down those things, I'll put it in here. <laughs> It'll be cold. Hey, you made it. Jesus, cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hot tub. Freezing. Yeah. So we're doing in the hot tub. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty warm. Once, you, as long as you stay in the water. Yeah, so like from here down this warm, here up, freezing. Wear a hat. Yeah, wear a hat. That's true. Pro tip. <laughs> yeah, so we are back in the and then Once you're in the hot tub, don't ever leave. No. You, you live here now. <laughs> you live here now. Yeah, so we're in the Spice H2O area of the boat. So. The adults only section. Yeah. There's a pie back there. Our hot tub is broken. Yeah, there's no. It's hot, but it, there's no yeah, bubbles. There's no bubbles. So that's why we got this one all to ourselves. But it's okay. Go. All right, and that's that on the, uh, the hot tub videos. All right, with deck 17, we have some ping pong tables. And uh, fun fact, guys, up here. these are not movies. You have to touch it. Ask me how I know. Rounding out in deck 17 at the front of the ship, we have more of the Haven. So that's where they have some Haven suites as well as uh, the pool area and, uh, and reception and all that top tier first class type of amenities are right in there. Let's go down to deck 16 and that's the main pool deck. That's where all the fun's gonna happen. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right guys, at deck 16 on the front of the ship is the Garden Cafe. This is one of the buffet areas that we have here. So we're gonna go check that out and see the views from the front of the ship. Let's go. So there guys, there's so much food here in this, in this area, it's not even funny. If there's something here that you want that's not here, you don't need it because there's just so much food. You guys, this buffet, this seating area goes on forever and ever and ever. So. We are currently at the very front of the ship, so kind of behind me, you guys kind of can see there's extra seating. Looks as if uh, there is a downstairs area, so we're gonna find that out in a second. But yeah, if we can get close and give you guys a shot of what we can see, we'll do that right now. And as we start moving towards midship, they actually do have a lot of tables and chairs set up up here so you can get your buffet and still come out here if you wanna enjoy some outside dining al fresco right next to the pool. So this is the main deck here with the main pool. So let's go see what that looks like. So there are two pools on this ship, accessible outside of the Haven. The pool towards the front is for adults only and the pool towards the rear is for everyone. So if you feel like getting splashed or not, no splash. <laughs> Speaking of splashes, they have a splash pad for all the real little kids. And here's a look at the normal main part of the pool and it's got a lovely waterfall. So you can really get that tropical Alaskan feel. <laughs> Did you touch the water? Is it cold? All right, we'll see how cold this water is. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. It's it's not super hot, mm -hmm. but it's definitely heated. Okay. So okay. that's cool. Okay. You want my best flamingo? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so on deck 16, there's waves bar over here, and then I think the surf bar is over there. So we're trying to decide if these water slides are going to be open or not. I think this is one of the drop slides that comes. Um, up from deck 17. So we'll find out. And if, if we can find out and Lewis is gonna go on, on, I'll put the footage in here. Particularly interesting about this slide is it actually goes down and then goes back up. So if you can't make it back up, there is an emergency escape hatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. I will get stuck. I will, I will have to do like the, the, the hatch of shame. No to, way, I'm doing a, it. It's not the hatch of shame, it's the, it's the slide C-section. The slide C-section. Okay, you're horrible. That's right behind me is the Pulse Fitness area. They've got all your free weights. They have all of your like classes and things like that. They also have like a Peloton-esque sort of thing. So we'll put the footage in here now of where we walked past that a second ago. And uh, yeah, get your small on here at the gym. Right behind me is the salon and spa. So if you need your hair done, or get a pedicure, or get any of those, you know, uh, treatments, you can get those here. You also have um, a salt room and a like a snow room. So if that's something you're into, you should that out. Um, I don't think we will be doing any spa treatments on this cruise, but maybe in this one. But if you've ever had a spa service, um, let's let us know. Comment down below. All right, deck 15. All right, guys, we're on deck 15. We are going to head into the observation deck. Mostly there's state rooms on deck 15. Uh, this is where you can get that panorama view uh, at the front of the ship. So let's go check that out. All right. And while we're in the observation lounge, we can observe a model of the ship. <laughs> So during our cruise, I think this is gonna be a prime spot to come and watch for wildlife as well as check out all the glaciers, everything particularly when we're in Glacier Bay. So 
Super excited to see what this looks like. So it does look like we have some food and light refreshments here as well. And it's always good because when you're observing, you're definitely working up that appetite. <laughs> this might be my favorite part of the trip so far. All the previews, got some snacks, coffee shares. Yeah. But a lot of people. So, so there's that too. Yeah, because the staterooms are not ready yet, a lot of people are just hanging out in all the public areas of the ship. So it does look rather crowded. I think during the cruise, when, once people get access to their balcony rooms, I don't think it's going to be quite as crowded as it is right now. So we have a full panoramic views out the front of the boat. So this is where we're going to be doing all of our observing. And I was walking through here and I thought I was going to get taken out. I get the sharp little corners. They had to put some padding there. Yeah, right there. I'm and sure then, a number of people have hit their head on and it. And that right there too. I wonder yeah. how many concussions they've gotten. Yeah, if you're, if you're about... <laughs> If you're two inches taller, if you're six four, you can hit your yeah, head there. You need to yeah. pad that too. Oh man, I don't have that problem. I'm a short kid. Five four on a good day. All right, decks nine through fourteen are state rooms, with the exception of thirteen, also housing the medical center. So we're going to skip on down to deck eight, and that's where we're going to continue our tour from there. All right, guys, so we're on deck eight. We're going to do all things. So starboard front of the part of the ship, we have the Food Republic, which I believe is a for purchase option. This is kind of a cool concept. You order things in this little uh, like kiosk here. And they bring it to you. This is a four purchase option though. So if you want like sushi and things like that, you can get that here. But yeah, nice. It's got a nice little wrap around panoramic yeah. window there. All right, leaving the Republic, heading on back somewhere else. <laughs> Directly across the hall from the Food Republic, we have the District Brew House. So this is the um, brew house uh, sort of dinery, dining area option that's here. <laughs> Let's go check it out. It's a uh, very kind of like steampunk industrial sort of brewery mm, definitely pretty neat and they also have some table games too so if you want to play i don't know some sort of beer pong yeah this? so it looks like do not use cups for drinks yeah so some sort of beer pong you mm -hmm. can uh play that here find one so in decade they have la cucina this is the italian restaurant for purchase uh option on the boat very excited we will uh, be having dinner here one night and i love Italian food so there you go and interestingly enough they have the uh oven pizzas here those are fake tv screens they look real, but especially on the camera, they look, definitely look real, but those are fake. Although, although I can definitely feel the heat coming off of it. All right, so we're on deck eight. So there's a couple things right around here at the front of another ship. Behind me is the Cavern Club. Uh, they have a Beatles experience here. So I guess this is like a 1960s, 50s, like Liverpool kind of vibe, which is pretty cool. So maybe we'll check that out. Um, over to my left shoulder, to y'all's right, is the Maltings Bar. Um, I think they serve drinks there. <laughs> and then across the way is the Cellar, uh, which is the wine bar. So plenty of bars. Also on deck eight here, we have the Humididor. This is the cigar lounge. So if you want to get a premium cigar and chill out and have some bourbon, whiskey, whatever, this is the spot you want to do it. So on deck eight, y'all, behind me is the uh, Sugar King Mojito Bar. Definitely, if you are looking for an alcoholic beverage, you cannot not find one on the ship. So make your choices. And directly across from the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar, this is where we have Trade wins, tax, and duty free. So, this is where you can come get your luxury items once we're out in international waters sunglasses, purses, watches, all of it. Uh, right over my shoulder is the Ocean Blue. This is like the seafood restaurant and it does not complimentary, it's a la carte. Uh, so, you have to make reservations to be able to eat there. And again, we see more baby bottles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so like Christine said, you're definitely not going to go thirsty on this ship. Alright guys, are behind me is some more of the duty-free shops. This is where you can get your makeup, this is where you get your jewelry. Um, paying over this way, there is uh, the sandbar, which is like your alcohol you can get on purchase. Same thing in the center here. Uh, and over here they have the camera store. So if you need a new Leica lens or a Sony or a GoPro, that's where you get them. Or if you buy the photo package, that's where you can pick your photos and get this printed. So in Decade, there is what's called the waterfront, where there is an outdoor like walking area all the way around. So we'll take that, we'll take you guys through that in, 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 in a second. But out these doors is the big shop and we'll stop there on the way out. But before we go outside, you're gonna go to the back of the ship where there is Cagney's and Los Lobos. So that is the steakhouse and the Mexican restaurant here on the Norwegian bus. So see this. All right guys, so right behind me is the A-list bar. Over to my left, your right, is Cagney's. This is the steakhouse on, on the Norwegian bliss. Uh, I think it's actually on all of the Norwegian cruises, cruise ships. Then over to my right is Los Lobos. That's the Mexican food place. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have reservations there, but if you've ever had a meal at Los Lobos, let us know. Was it good? Maybe we'll try it out next time. So as you can see, Deck 8 is where you want to go for all your specialty fine dining restaurants, but two things left on Deck 8, that is the bake shop and the Hello, waterfront. And, and right behind me is the bake shop. This is where you can get all kinds of treats for a purchase. And the last part of Deck 8, this is called the waterfront, so this is kind of a, uh, so this is a wraparound kind of both sides of the ship here where you can kind of hang out and chill out. So this is definitely more chill, relaxed kind of area if you want to just hang out in some of the loungers and some of the uh, some of the chairs and watch the world go by. So with both Cagney's and Los Lobos, you actually can request to sit outside. Um, 
I did not request us to sit outside because I don't think Lewis would actually enjoy the cold. Um, but we'll take a quick laugh and we'll show you guys what this outdoor seats look like. So we're still on deck eight. We are at the very back of the ship. This is the most quiet spot we've found on the ship so far. Now granted, everyone's not in the straight rooms just yet, but if you're looking for a quiet moment, this might be the place to come. Yeah, unfortunately there's no seating out here though. No. Which is why seats. nobody's out here. Yes, but it's quiet. Your girl's here for it. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything on deck eight. Let's go to deck seven. Just try not to lose any giant diamonds over the back of the ship here. That would, that would be a tragedy. <laughs> Going in after it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Just take a second to appreciate Fusion Sounds. Like, gorgeous. Even though it's October, it's a little bit dreary, right? But hasn't rained today. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see the mountains off in the background. Not snow capped yet because it's only October. But we're here for it. We're here for it. Hi right, guys, right behind me is the Manhattan room. That is one of the main dining rooms here on the Norwegian Bliss. Um, it is an included option, but do recommend getting reservations. Right, continuing on deck seven, we have the casino. So if you want to come and spend a whole bunch of money on some slot machines or do some blackjack, this is the place to be. Steen is running away because they do allow smoking in here. She's rather sensitive and overly dramatic. <laughs> about the smoke. They do have two separate sections of the casino. This is the non-smoking room. They also have a smoking section. So it looks like they looks like they do allow smoking in the casino here once the ship is underway and out in international waters. Uh, while we're docked in port though, there is no smoking in the casino. And this is super neat too, man. Look at the size of all these TVs pushed together. It, it almost makes it look like you're there on the field. That thing is huge. So this is actually one of the few cruise ships that I've been on where the casino does not smell like an ashtray. Typically I hustle through them because I don't like the smell of cigarette smoke. Um, so I actually could walk through here and not smell like, you know, Marlboro Light. So with that being said, I do think there is like a fish tank uh, if you are a smoker and want to gamble. But other than that, I would walk through here and not have to worry about it. So uh, behind Lewis, we're going to head into the local and see what's in there. Let's go. So this is the local bar. We'll see how local it is. So we're in the local bar and grill. This is a complimentary option for food. Um, and I think this was right behind us. So uh, maybe we'll try that out one day and see if that's a good lunch option for us. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a lively place. There's music downstairs, plenty of uh, drinks to go around. This is a party atmosphere for sure. So one thing that's neat about this bar is it's actually two stories. And you can see they actually have some live music right here in the center. So regardless which floor you're on, you can definitely hear the music. You can look down, you can see the performers. So pretty cool. I forgot to mention the local uh, bar and grill. I think it's like uh, Irish food. So maybe. Some haggis? Maybe. Yeah. Or is that Scottish? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. So rounding out deck seven is the Bliss Theater and the box office. So let's go take a look and see what we can see in the theater. So currently the bus theater is closed, but we will get some footage uh, whenever we watch some of those shows and we'll put that in here so you guys kind of like a vibe of that. Uh, yeah, super excited. They have, we have we're going to see the Jersey Boys one night and then Six, which is like, I guess, a Broadway show of like Henry the Eighth, like the Tudors, uh, all the wives. So pretty cool. Awesome. Love those Broadway shows. You do not have Broadway shows. No, I do. At, at Broadway shows at CU, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah. I know that Norwegian is actually phasing that out. I know. I don't know why. We love them. Well, I know why. They're expensive to put yeah. on. But, all right. I like them better than the song and dance stuff. Uh, accurate. All right. Let's go down to deck six. All right, guys. Here on deck six behind me is Q. This is the Texas brisket smokehouse sort of vibe. Uh, I believe this is a for purchase option. So I don't think we're going to be uh, dining here. But if you've dined here before, let us know in the comments down below. Um, and we are at the front of the ships. So that is the bow of the ship. I mean, it's kind of expensive, right? Like you're paying twenty nine dollars for this is this is like prices that you would get on for brisket, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty pricey. Look at that cow! So this would have came in handy two hours ago. I didn't realize that there are hand carry luggage storage services here on deck six. So we didn't actually have to carry our bags all the way around the ship. We could have stored them here, but we've already been doing it for two hours, so let's keep going. <laughs> Going this way, this looks like there's some meeting rooms, maybe like the library is this way, so let's go check that out. And the library, so we can probably grab a book or play a game. Mm. It's probably where they'll have some of the self-led uh, type yeah, of meetings, like, like the Friends of Bill W yeah, or something mm -hmm. along those lines would probably be in here, I would yeah. imagine. And there are more meeting rooms over here, but these are blocked off because there's a private function going on. So here in deck six, uh, this is where you're going to find your guest services and insurance services as well as Starbucks. Uh, there's also the atrium bar and the internet cafe. 
if you need to, uh, I guess, use someone else's computer for the good old internet. So. And this is also the lower level of the local bar too. So this is where they're going to have some live entertainment. So this is where they have some local entertainment they could come and watch from either the local bar or from deck six. All right guys, so we are midship on deck six. I love the chandelier. I want it for the house. <laughs> I love a bright crystal moment for sure. So here uh, on midship, here on deck six, uh, to my left we have the social. This is where it's a, I believe it's like a nightclub and a comedy, comedy club as well. So this is where we will, uh, here's some comedians and uh, check that out a little bit later. To my right is Coco's, that is the chocolate uh, milkshake place for charge. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, some desserts, options, this is somewhere where you can get that. And then our right shoulder is Tepanyaki, this is like the Japanese steakhouse. Uh, place. Uh, it is for purchase. It is not included, and I think it's one of the more premium options because you get a show as they're actually making your food. Yeah. As we continue towards the rear of the ship here on deck six, they also have the obligatory art gallery. In my opinion, a little bit of a waste of space. I don't know who's buying art on a cruise ship. I and mean, really, they're just prints, anyways. So still in the midship here on deck six. Uh, to my left is Taste, uh, and this is one of the complimentary uh, dining options here on board of the Norwegian Bliss. In the center, we have the mix bar, and then on the other side, we have savory. Savory is uh, the same exact menu as taste, it's just on two separate sides of the boat. <laughs> so tired, guys. <laughs> All right, we're done here. We're done. We're done. It's like I can't take him anywhere. <laughs> all right, on to deck five. All right, guys, so here on deck five is Entourage, the teen lounge. So deck five is like where all a lot of the kids' hangouts are. So we're gonna do our best to kind of film, but there's we don't want to take pictures of anyone else's children because that's kind of weird. But on deck five, they have the teen lounge that we talked about earlier, the guppies, the splash academy, as well as the video our video arcade, and then the state rooms. This is the video arcade, and I will say it's actually pretty nice. There's quite a few different games to play in here. Uh, you do have to pay for all of them, obviously, uh, but. Definitely you could do some damage. Your kids could do some damage to your cruise account if you just let them run wild in here. So I always consider an arcade like a kitty casino and then you literally get the arcade package at the casino. So there you go. And it's interesting too that the casino is becoming more arcade-ish too with some of the uh, like the claw grabbers and coin pushers and stuff like that that they have at the casino. Is this a kid's game in the arcade or is this in the casino? Do you win? I want duck. Oh. We're gonna name him Alfred. Right. Next up, this is Splash Academy. So this is definitely the little kids section of the yes. ship. So probably not a whole lot we can film here. Right. And of course, guppies for the real little. The little buddies. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yes, if you have kids, let us know if this is a place you would drop your kids off while you're doing the things that parents do on a cruise ship. All right guys, so here are your pro tips for the Norwegian Bliss. I'd say number one is definitely take your time on the first day to get to know the entire ship because it is massive. There are so many different places to go, so many different places to be, and you want to know the quickest way to get in between all those. So take your time to learn the ship when you first get on so that way you won't spend the entire week that you're on your Alaska cruise just lost and not knowing where to go. Pro tip number two is realize that the elevators are somewhat confusing and not all the elevators go to where you think that they should go. The elevators towards the bow versus the ones in the aft go to different floors as well as even starboard versus port i've noticed that there may be off by one or two floors there as well so just keep that in mind and pay attention to which elevators you get on depending on which floor you need to go to and pro tip number three is if you're looking for your stateroom and you're kind of get lost you're not really sure which way you're heading be sure to look at the fish in the carpet below they're always swimming towards the front of the boat so that way you know if you're heading towards the front or towards the rear of the boat just by looking at the carpet. That's going to do it for us today. Remember to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. I'm going to go down to deck 19. We're on 19 now because that was yeah, 20. We're on okay. 19. We're gonna go so now we're going to go down to ne the neck. We're going to go down the neck. Yeah. <laughs> You want to get down neck, my neck? My back, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, we don't know. This is this is uh, the first time we've on the channel have. We're gonna go down to deck 18. Oh, got it, I got it. All right, and here on. All right, so continuing Hang midship. On. All right, not head. Not head, sorry. Oh, wait, now we got. All right, guys, on deck 16 at the back of the ship, front of the ship. And what deck are we on, 16? What, what deck are we on? This is the latest bar. I think bar? this is 17. Try it again. Oh, okay. So here on deck. Six. Right, right, yeah. cool. As we continue towards the rear of the, sh the aft, the, the we heading on this way on this side of the ship. I don't know what side of the ship is on because I'm all backwards. This is the starboard uh, front. 
Okay. So. All right, so now we're gonna skip no. down. I was eating those little armpit try again. Hey. Definitely a lot less added, a lot less amplitude, a lot less in chaos. I don't know. <laughs> a, little, a little bit more quiet out here. Okay. Start again. Am I back one or am I good? You're good now. Okay. The district brew house. Of it's a push. It's a push. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna skip down to deck eight because decks nine through 14 are just steak rooms. It's not steak rooms. Can, can you see it on? Can you see my, can you see my, my mic on? Can you see my mic on oh. on there? <laughs> yes, I can see it. Bro, are you new here?